An apology wasn't enough. A judge comes down hard on a man who brutally attacked and killed Randy Jones with a baseball bat. Now, Brandon Samples heads to prison, probably for the rest of his life. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Brandon Samples blamed his crime on drug addiction and a rough upbringing. But a judge says that's no excuse and that his actions were those of a depraved man. One, I'm not a white supremacist gang member. Okay? I got out of that a while ago because I realized, I realized it, wasn't, it wasn't who I was. But Brandon Samples is a convicted killer. A year ago in a remote area of Emory County, Samples takes a baseball bat and beats a man to death. The impact it has on the body of Randy Jones is enough to break the aluminum bat. In February, a jury finds Samples guilty of murdering his one-time friend. Samples' only regret during trial is that he breaks his bat. At his sentencing last week, Samples finally admits to his crime. Every day I feel shameful for what happened and um, nothing can do to change it, you know. The motive remains unclear. Witnesses claim Samples is angry with Jones. During the beating, Jones begs for answers. Samples never tells him why. Jones is an Army veteran who returns to Utah. His family says Jones has troubles adjusting, but never deserved this. Brandon, I do not know how you sleep at night, and I hope you sleep with one eye open. The horror that you put on us will never go away. The prosecutor seeks the harshest sentence possible. Samples' defense attorney wants an opportunity for parole one day in the future. Samples blames his trouble on drugs and a rough upbringing and offers Jones' family an apology. I'm sorry to Randy and their family for their loss and all the heartache that they're going through. Your Honor, I just lost my mom too. I know what it's like. But the judge scolds samples, saying losing someone to murder and losing a mother by natural causes is not the same pain. And it's not because you're a drug addict. And it's not because you had a disadvantaged upbringing. It's because I think at your core, um, you did not care about human life if it interfered with what you wanted. The judge says the murder was so brutal, he questioned why this was not a death penalty case. Nonetheless, he sentenced Samples to four consecutive sentences, meaning he'll have to spend at least 16 years in prison. And by the way, his accomplice, Anna Brewer, was sentenced last month to prison for up to 15 years. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.